I had two sales on eBay. First are these purple mugs. I just recently got these. I don't think I have them in a video of when I got them. But I have a set of two. They are purple. They're not coming out purple in here. You can kind of see it right there. And I thought they were Pioneer Woman, but they're not. They're vintage purple glass mugs made in USA. They're actually marked USA on the bottom. And I got two of them. They were 99 cents each. So I had them listed on eBay and Etsy and they sold pretty quickly on eBay. I got an offer for $14 and I accepted it. The other sale was my last Bordello Panero plate. If you remember, I picked up three of these plates um, by Bordalo Pinheiro, made in Portugal. Now each one was a different color and different pattern. The other two sold pretty quickly and this blue one took a little longer, but I knew it would sell. It has a grape pattern. These are like Majolica style and this one I think had a chip or something on it. I know it has crazing, but I think it had a little chip somewhere, which I'm not seeing. But if you find plates by that brand, they sell pretty well, consistently. I always pick them up if I find them. And this one sold for $14.95 and I paid probably $2 for it. I had a whatnot sale yesterday and sold a couple items. Um, there's a story behind this one though. This, the customer who's bought from me before, she liked salt and pepper shakers. She actually bought that set for $2 and she messaged me later asking if I could do another, or when I was gonna do my next live sale because she wanted to buy additional items because of the shipping it would make the shipping worth it basically the more you buy on whatnot the more you save on the shipping I told her i couldn't do another sale until next wednesday she messaged back and forth and she decided to go ahead and cancel the set and i'm going to put them in my next sale for her and we'll see if she comes back and buys them again and other items and i don't mind doing that at all so they should probably sell again. We'll have to see. She has bought from me before. And then I had another buyer purchase these two items. This is that cute little left-in pincushion girl. I don't know if I've showed her in a video before, but she is really neat. And the cool thing is one of her pins actually glows under black light. It's that left one. It glows bluish purple. I thought was really neat. So she got her for $10 and then she went into my buy it now and bought that little trinket box for $12. So I'm going to get these two items wrapped up for her and we'll see if these sell again, these salt and pepper shakers sell again next week. I have another auction haul. This is a local online auction that I bid on bunch of items mostly glass as you're seeing here this is not everything there's a few things behind me that I'll show you as well but I paid a total of $33 and I'm really excited about these items some of them are really cool first we have this gorgeous tray it's very heavy glass it has some wear on the gold trim but it's beautiful there's a couple of pieces of depression glass. I believe this is Jeanette glass. There's two um, salad looking sized plates and then this smaller plate. This mug I really found interesting and I remember looking it up before I bid, but it did come with some other items in the lot. So I was gonna probably bid anyway, but it is made in Norway and it sells pretty well. It's a very nice religious scene, uh, Christmas themed. So
so I liked that a lot. There's a gravy boat. Nothing too crazy. So definitely feels like restaurant wear. This green glass I think is EO Brody. I can't read the bottom right now and it's really dirty so I don't want to turn it over. But it's a nice green glass vase. Then you can see I have a bunch of blue glass. These were broken into three different lots and I'm so glad I won them. I almost gave up on some of them, but I feel like, but the highest lot I bought was only $6, so definitely worth it. A lot of the blue glass has signatures on the bottom, not all of it, but for instance, like this one, it does say Silver Dollar City handcrafted, and then there's a signature. I'm kind of make it out right there. It's a nice blue glass face. This one over here has a signature, so I'm not sure. I'll have to look up the Silver Dollar City handcrafted glass. This one also has a signature. I guess they had it at $35 somewhere, but look how pretty that blue is. Really, really nice. This one is really pretty too. It's got like that um, confetti type design blue i don't know if this has a signature we have to get that off i'm guessing it probably does but even if it doesn't it's very pretty this is a nice basket i'm kind of scared to hold it by the handle um, but it is blown glass it was put at 45 dollars somewhere it's got a very nice kind of speckly design. I like that. This one is really interesting and it's very heavy. Um, this might have a signature too well, once we get that sticker off, but it's really nice. It also has that Silver Dollar City sticker. And then I really like this one, but I'm sad about it because it does have some cracking inside can see it there you can see it there you can feel it on the inside but you cannot feel it on the outside well and this little then it has an indent right there but it's smooth so I'm sad about that because it has a really nice etched design on it um, I'm probably gonna end up just keeping this for myself I love the color anyway so I'll just use that as display this is a neat vintage bottle by Empire Glass Works. So I just thought it was really cool. It was in the lot with some of these blue vases. Um, so yeah, very nice. I'm sure I could get a little money for that. It still has a cork and everything. And this right here, I've sold before, except a smaller version of it. I believe it's Polish glass. I can't remember, an oil lamp or an oil diffuser. It still has the little attachment here. I remember the one I had previously did not have that anymore. But it's very cool. This is awesome looking art glass. I think there's another name for it. Um, if I can remember it, I'll put it at the bottom of the screen. But, but they do sell pretty well. All right, let's turn around and look at the other items. One of my last minute bids was on this, was on this plate that's in this box. Nobody had bid on it. And I thought it was pretty. So let's pull it out. There it is. It definitely looks like Belique, which is what drew me to it, but it is not. It is Donegal Irish Parian China. So I had not heard of that before, but it is made in Ireland and it's a nice looking plate. Um, and so I won that for $2. So I figured, why not? I have what is probably early American pressed glass water pitcher. It's very heavy. 
but very pretty. So I'm gonna have to research the pattern, try to figure out the maker. It's always good if you have vintage glass to try and find out the maker so that you can accurately describe it. Because some people search for certain glass makers and so that will help you with selling it. So it is worth putting in the effort to try to research it. These glasses are really cool. I had never come across these before. Um, but I really like the traffic sign. So there's one that says stop. I wish I had another one of those because there's two of, the, of each of the other styles. Here's the one way. And the other one. And then there's two of these as well. Caution, I hear father coming. These are so cool, I really like these. Oh, this one's different. Careful, soft shoulders, hard heart. Those are really fun. So it's a set of five, kind of an awkward number, but that's okay, I think they will sell. I briefly looked them up before bidding on them and I saw that I could definitely make something off them, especially when no one else bid on them. What did I win these for? Two dollars. I got all I got all of them for two dollars. Okay, the last item is pretty funny. Sometimes you can't tell how big something is when you're bidding on it online. And I knew it was a vintage doll. And I do like picking up dolls sometimes. Um, a lot of the vintage ones do sell pretty well, depending on condition. But nobody was bidding on her, and I felt really bad. So I bid, and I got her for $2, which was the starting bid. The funny thing is, she's not a small doll. She is pretty big. <laughs> I was kind of shocked when I saw her. But really cool, she's about, I think I measured her at 36 inches tall. So that's gonna be really interesting trying to ship her. I am gonna try selling her on eBay. She is really cool. She even still has her little socks and shoes. This cute vintage dress. She is a sleepy eye doll, so she closes her eyes. Her hair's a little on the messy side. I saw a number on the back of her neck, but I haven't seen a maker's mark yet, so I'm gonna try to see if I can find one so I can get some more information. My initial guess is she's from the 1950s. And um, yeah, I'm glad I got her. Nobody else wanted the poor girl. You'll have to stay tuned to see if I do sell her. And if I do, I'm gonna have to figure out the, the box that she'll fit in, but she's really cute. I had another sale on knickknacks last night. It was a live sale. I was part of a train and it was called What's on the Menu. It's a really fun train. Um, all the sellers that are participating are selling items that are kitchen related mostly vintage, some antiques too. It was a lot of fun and I was so happy to be, a, to be a part of it. I actually signed up to be on the next one, which is gonna be Monday, August 5th. Can't believe we're gonna be in August already. Monday, August 5th at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. Let me show you what I sold last night though on the what's on the menu train. So the first item, this person bought a trinket box for me. Now you're probably thinking, what does it have to do with kitchen? This was in my buy it now section. So not only do I have auctions to run that fit the theme of the train, I also have a buy it now section where you can go in and browse a lot of my items that are for sale and buy them right from there. So, this is a cute little trinket box. I actually found it in the bins. It's in perfect condition. And so that sold for $8. It's a very cute one. And then for the auctions, I sold this Neher Pottery mug. 
It's from 2022, so not vintage, but very nice pottery mugs. I've sold these before. This one is a left-handed mug, like a hand warmer mug. Funny thing is, every time I find these, they are left-handed. So I wonder, did they only make the left-handed? I'm not sure, but it's such a pretty mug. This sold at auction for $8. And then another person bid on this set, this creamer and sugar set that is just so pretty, the flower shape. And they won that for $12. So that was, so those were my sales last night on knickknacks.net. It's a really, really fun platform. The live sales are always fun. So yeah, I'm excited for my next um, what's on the menu train. And then I'll do my regular knickknacks live sale on Saturday, August 3rd. I'm trying to remember the dates. Yeah, I think it's August 3rd. And usually I do that one at 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. in the morning. So I have to get that scheduled today. I had another sale and it was on Etsy. Um, something a little different happened. I got an offer from somebody on Etsy on this beautiful Nippon butter dish. It's missing the strainer that would sit inside, but it's beautiful. No chips or cracks on it. It is hand painted and it's about a hundred years old at this point. So I had it listed for $39.99 on Etsy and I got an offer from somebody for $35, which I accepted. It's the first time I got an offer on Etsy. I think it's something they knew they've started. I remember hearing about this. And I think last year you could opt into the beta testing for offers, but I did not do that. Um, so I think now it's just live for every seller that you can receive offers. There's probably a setting where you can turn that off, but I don't mind getting offers. I'm happy to have made a sale. So I'm gonna get this wrapped up and shipped out. We had a very bad storm last night here in Nebraska and lost power. And it is the next day and we still have no power. So it was quite a scary storm. We had 80 mile an hour winds. They think there were a couple of short-lived tornadoes, but there are thousands of people without power today. I'm happy that it's a sunny day so I can get some light in here in my reseller room and it's been a hundred degrees lately but today maybe because of the storm it's only supposed to get up to like 88 so that is helpful we're not sure when the power will come back on they're working very hard there's lots of trees down lots of power lines came down so it's a lot of work but hopefully it'll be back on later today Still without power. You can hear generators going around in the neighborhood. Ours doesn't want to start. We're working on it because it might be a little while still till the power comes back. So it was quite a storm. All my patio furniture basically got blown against the railing over there by the grill. It was all pushed over like it was just paper and it's heavy stuff. But we are lucky that we didn't really have much damage. A lot of people had fences down and trees down and, you know, typical stuff with storms. So, keep you updated. Hopefully our power comes back today. Okay, we have an update. We have power. Yay! We were just about 24 hours without power. And it came back on. I'm so, so happy about that. Um, I have an order I have to wrap up. The doll has sold. I had put her up as an auction on eBay. At a starting bid of $75, she got one bid. So she did sell. I'm going to have to figure out how to wrap her up now for shipping. Might have to do some kind of Franken box, but we're gonna see.
I'm just glad she found a home. But that'll do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, could you give it a thumbs up? And I will see you in the next one. Bye.